such an amazing woman for so long. Thank you. That's all I needed. You're welcome. So what was it, Will? Why her, not me? <laughs> I'm going to get the coffee mug. <laughs> I told you this because I cared about you and I didn't care about her. You just thrown me out of your house, so I, I went to this party, loaded up on vodka and squirt, met her and had what was apparently phenomenal sex. The next morning, I, I, I ran to Jack's house and spent the whole day crying and talking about you. Really? He did. He was a wreck. He was crying so hard he could barely iron his jeans. <laughs> The thing with her was a drunken, meaningless night that I only look back on with shame. Uh, it meant nothing to me. Really? Well, it meant something to me! <laughs> huh? I remember everything about that night. <laughs> How we met at, at Jenny Von Sloniker's Back from Mono party? <laughs> You were in the kitchen for some reason running the bong through the dishwasher. I was immediately drawn to you because you were cleaner than everybody else. And then, then we, we danced to that Dead or Alive song. You spin me round. And you did well. You spun me right round, baby. Right round, like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. The girls are... Uh, so's your Birkin bag, honey. Bad boy chompers. Later, when, when, when we made love on my futon, it, it was so romantic. My hair was burning on my hot plate, but I didn't care. How could that be? I mean, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was scared. I was fumbling. I don't even think I took my underwear off. <laughs> All I know is it's the only time I've ever had an orgasm. <coughs> ever. In my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, I was close that time, but Ed Koch wrecked it. <laughs> Isn't it important to you at all? I mean, didn't, didn't, you, didn't you take anything away from it? I, I took one of your Benetton sweaters. That was my roommate's sweater. She accused me of stealing it. We went to student court. I, I'm sorry. I, I, like I told you, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I, I was a basket case. Oh, I still am a basket case. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. This is just where I was hoping this evening was going. <laughs> You know, uh, maybe I should check to see if she has an emotionally disturbed brother with the same legs. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe it's just as well you never did take a, a ride on the Truman train. That could have ruined you for life. Train? You had one passenger. <laughs> yes, but at least she got off. <laughs> yeah, crazy town! <laughs> I'm gonna go check on her, too. No, 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 no. You are mine. You're not going anywhere near that woman ever again. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'm just having a nutty moment. Once I get home and drink myself to sleep, I'll be fine. <laughs> but it's always going to hurt a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Diane, you have to keep reminding yourself that you're a good person with a lot of love to give. I am. <laughs> and you've just got to find someone to return that love. I do. 
How would you like a dog? 